Hello, this is Tim from Vintage RC Garage. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Tamiya Big Wig Kit number 5857. This new unbox I bought back in 2013 and it still had the shrink wrapping on it. I was questioning whether I should even do an unboxing since I would need to break into it in order to make the video. I finally decided to do it. I have heard mixed reviews from collectors on whether having something still wrapped added value. Nothing was missing on this, but there was interior box damage and a few parts trees had separated. So just be aware that just because it's shrink wrapped doesn't mean it's in mint condition. The Big Wig is a 110 scale four wheel drive off-road buggy that was released in July of 1986 to commemorate the 10 years of Tamiya RC models. The Big Wig is unique because it was the first Tamiya car with a body designed by an outside designer. It was designed by Mr. Takuya Yura, who was a Japanese full-size race car designer. The model was last manufactured in 1991. The Big Wig was released in 2017. The Big Wig has a unique polycarbonate body shell because it's its unique one big wing design that bucked the trend of mimicking scale cars and instead attempted to maximize aerodynamics. It weighed in at just under 4 pounds. The model sported a Tamiya RX 540VZ Technigold motor which is very sought after by collectors. Alrighty, let's jump into the box and see what we have. First up is the A parts tree that is combined with two F parts trees. The A parts contains everything yellow. It contains a roll cage, overhead air to air intake, faux rear engine pipes, steering servo mount plate, pinion steering cover, motor mount gapper, and bushings and shims. The F parts are for the front wishbone assembly, four knuckle disc plates, and front upper and lower arms. Next up are the C parts tree with two R parts trees. The C parts are all blue and contain front and rear arm knuckles, front and rear damper mount uprights, rack and pinion steering and cover, and the rear gearbox mount. Another unique aspect of the big wig is that it is the only Tamiya model to have rack and pinion steering. In the R parts, you get the upper and lower rear wishbone arms. In the next bag, you get the large front bumper and skid plate along with the B parts tree, which contains the rear chassis plate, the rear engine guards, and all four disc hubs. The G parts tree was bagless and one of the pieces was separated from the tree. It contains both the left and right and front and rear gearbox halves. The Big Wig is a shaft-driven four-wheel drive drivetrain that connects the front and rear gearboxes to the wheels and is equipped with full ball bearings. The four off-road tires come in a box. The tires are an oval block type with a mixture of oval and spiked raised treads. Front tires are slightly thinner than the rear and provide great traction off-road. As always, the largest collection of parts are contained in the blister pack. The lid contains four bevel gears, drive shafts, gearbox joints, and wheel axles. Ball connector bag, which has one cable holder, four 5mm, four 8mm, and two 5mm ball connectors. Full ball bearings, 13 and 15T pinion gears. Ball thrust bearing bag, which has more bearings, thrust washers, and ball thrust bearings. Ceramic and controller switch grease mechanical speed controller, ceramic resistor, and the technical motor. The big wig was a rear motor position. It was adjustable to allow trackside tuning for speed versus power consumption. It also used a four shim setup to easily adjust for different pinion gear sizes. Alrighty, it's time to open up the box and see what's inside. Lying on top is the drive shaft rod that connects the gearboxes. The first bag inside is the tool bag. It has four steering adjusters, body clips, battery adapter, two propeller joints, damper oil, nylon bands and tape, the infamous box wrench and allen keys, the brush spreader, and the spring removal tool. Two rubber boots cover the steering tie rods and anti-wear grease is included in the kit to seal the steering mechanism from dirt and gravel using metal square boot stoppers. Next up is the gear bag with the H parts tree. This includes the large drive gear and differential spur gear as well as the gearbox gears on the parts trees. The press parts bag contains all metal parts. It has the body stay hook, four knuckle ball plates, body meter panel, resistor cover, resistor plate, motor plate, and the roof. 
The screw pin bag contains various amounts of 3 millimeter in 12, 22, 32, 38, and 46 millimeter lengths. Also a single body mount. The damper bag contains, well, yep, you guessed it, everything damper. Short front and long rear springs, front and rear piston rods, four 6mm spacers, 12 O-rings, and four damper oil seal diaphragms. The long rear dampers come on two J-parts trees with two T-parts trees. This includes the damper cylinder and top and bottom caps. The T-tree has the bushings, diffusers, and connector end. Likewise, the short front dampers come on two Y-parts trees with two X-parts trees. They come with the exact same parts, just laid out differently on the parts tree. The Big Wig has four arrow dish one-piece rims. Each part tree comes with one front and one rear rim. The front are slightly slimmer than the rear. The triangle-based wheel hubs lock into the back of the rims to drive the tires. Next up are the iconic looking dual antenna posts. These stiff antennas give the Big Wig a unique look and also some flip and body shell protection. The gearbox parts bag contains four easy to lose C-rings, two 28 millimeter shafts, six small differential bevel gears, and the hex bumper stay. It also contains four motor set plates and metal pipes in 22, 25, and 30 millimeter lengths. The last items inside the blister pack box are the screw bags in order. There is a rather small set of hardware used in the four bags. Screw bag A has 3mm machine screws in 6, 15, 20, 27, and 30mm lengths, 3mm flange nuts, and 3mm washers. Screw bag B has 3mm threaded shafts in 33 and 37mm lengths, 3mm lock nuts, also 3mm screws in 8 and 12mm lengths. Screw bag C is the catch-all bag. It has 26 by 10 mm screws, 3 by 10 mm, 26 by 6 mm, and 2 by 6 mm machine screws, my nemesis, 2 mm earrings, 3 mm grub screws, finally 3 by 8 mm tapered head screws. Last up is screw bag D. It has plastic bearings, 2 by 10 mm machine screws, differential bevel gear pins, 2 mm nuts, 4 mm lock nuts, and 2 mm and 4 mm washers. There are a bunch of parts packaged and stapled inside one set of packaging. There is no way to get them out without ruining the package, so I didn't take everything out. Everything is enclosed and stapled to the polycarbonate body shell. The single wing aerodynamic body is made of lightweight and durable polycarbonate. The box art is dominated by PS4 blue with a trim of PS1 white along the outside of the side wings. Underneath the shell is an ABS resin bathtub style chassis. The Big Wiz is the only model with this chassis type, but it inherits a number of design features from the Boomerang and Hotshot lines. The wide chassis can accommodate a longer 8.4 volt battery pack for extra power and speed. This four-wheel drive shaft drive chassis also comes with four-wheel independent double wishbone suspension. Also under the body shell are two smaller polycarbonate pieces. These are mud flap type fenders that only get taped onto the underside of the wings. I had never seen them before, but seems that not many people use them or they just fall off in the end. There is a small sub-chassis tub that covers up over the radio box via pivot points. The driver figure parts tree and S parts tree servo saver are inside the chassis as well. The last item inside this bundle are the decals. The decals have bright yellow, orange, and red racing stripes. They sport Dick Sepik branding as well as Pennzoil sponsorship. The sheet comes with both 5 and 6 racing numbers. The last and final item on the bottom of the box is the traditional Tamiya manual. The manual is a standard Tamiya version provided with English titles with Japanese and other language subtitles. It uses monochrome print with occasional blue highlights throughout. Okay, that's all in the box. It's time to put it all back in. Thanks for watching my unboxing of the Tamiya Big Wig 5857. If you have a request for my next unboxing, visit my blog collection page at VintageRCGarage.com and send me a note. See you next time.